before today's topic. When I was young, I played a solo guitar in rock band. When I was 33, I started to play keyboards. That was just my helping instrument. I never was a lead vocalist in the band, but I sang many songs like a second vocalist. I was a drummer also, so I was a musician with great experience through my whole life. Later, I started to play alone like a one-man band. At the beginning, I used only keyboard with automatic rhythm and soon I realized that I don't have to play whole night the same instrument. I made backing tracks and started to play guitar with synth and sing. Later, I added second synthesizer even third one after some time. Of course, I have had a mixing console with amplifier and loudspeakers and some effects for guitar. So, year after year, a new devices came, all gone, and my wish was always, when it all ends, just to make a home studio. So the years have gone and my home studio is here in my living room. I have a nice collection of guitars, three synthesizers, pedal board with effects for guitar and voice. I have a looper, drummer for guitarists. Of course, here is a PC for recording, mixing and mastering the songs. For monitors I use my PA and the center of all inputs is mixing console Yamaha with 12 channels. All my equipment I'll state in the comment section below. I can't say this home studio setup is on budget, it costs a lot of money, but there are many items you don't have to choose at this, let's say, high price level. It could be much cheaper, it depends what you want and need. My monitor is a Bose L1 and QMCK.2 series, something very pricey. I use these two because I have them, but you can buy some much cheaper and to be very happy with it. So what's my task with this video for today? My task is number one, to show you how all these devices are connected. Number two, few words about instrument cables and USB cables and number three how easily and very fast you can make a song I shall lead you step by step through the whole process so let's get started The first thing you're gonna need is computer with recording software. I have powerful machine with a lot of RAM memory and powerful video card NVIDIA with 12 gigabytes memory because I make videos also. Here is a big mighty bank monitor 
and another one just to have more space and another one also is here I use Cubase program the basic one and it's okay more than I need in a lot of situations I didn't buy it because it was the gift. When you buy Yamaha mixer, Cubase is already in. First, I'm gonna to count what I have here. What instruments, what devices I have and how it is all set up. Here are the three synthesizers. Each one is connected with Yamaha mixer with these cables. Yes. These two are for solo and the third one is more complicated it is the synthesizer with many purposes. I can say this is a studio in my studio. For example, when I make music for video films, I use all of these three synthesizers. This Quark PA700 is the basic one, and this Kurzweil and this Quark T3 are for filling up with various sounds. Yeah. And how I do that when I'm making a video? On this third monitor i follow the video and at that moment create a music all three synthesizers are ready with chosen sounds and yamaha mixer these three buttons are on and making music is going on i use davinci resolve video software no pay version, it has powerful sound section and every mistake or wrong note later is easy to correct and it has almost all effects so very rarely I need some other music program like let's say Cubase. If I use DaVinci to record music on video I have to use headphones. This is it. I have to use this because the camera sounds are not allowed to interfere with music. Sometimes it's not pleasant to play using the headphones. Then I have here zoom recorder it's another method for recording from main output on Yamaha mixer these two cables are connected to input of zoom recorder first I have to balance input intensivity of all three synthesizers and when it's done then I put recorder in standby position. When recording is done, then I have to put it in DaVinci. Music for video very often must have duration precisely defined. In second, almost one second matters. If I record some free music and play freely then I use 
Cubase. It's very important to set preferences before recording. Standard is 48,000 Hz and 24 bits. You can't mix tracks recorded on 48,000 and that with 44,000 or lower or higher because it doesn't last equally and the speed is different. So I record everything in 48,000 Hz and 24 bits and have no troubles at all, never. Yamaha mixer is connected with PC with USB cable. So is Korg PA700 also. All MIDI songs and lyrics are on its hard disk. If I need any correction of MIDI file or lyrics, I import it from PA700 into PC and when the correction is done, I export it back to it. And my great video monitor has a picture-in-picture -picture function, so if it is necessary, I can read lyrics from it and not from this one small 10-inch cork display. It's not easy in every position to read the lyrics if you play guitar, what I usually do. There's a possibility to make whole song on Korg PA700. It has guitar and microphone input, so I can make it all in it and put a mini stick and export final mp3 music product of great quality out but no i don't have to be uncomfortable with this and make it all in this small space i make it on my pc now I lead you to great process how I make a new song. Here in this box is powerful center of all actions in order to make a quality recording. It is TC Helicon Live 3 Extreme. This extreme is because among other functions it has a hard disk and has some advantages if compared with live 3 without extreme in its name this box has three main sections vocal guitar and looper Let's take a look what we have here. This is mixing console. These are the effects for guitar. This is a drummer, special drummer for guitarists. And this is a, in this case, looper. Here is written looper. So I chose the rhythm hip hop and this drummer is connected on the first and second channel on the mixing console now i'm going to start the rhythm and to record it with Cubase.
Okay, that's it. I use this looper and put my bass guitar in. It's here. What I'm going to do. I am starting the drummer and with my foot I start to play the bass. pattern on Cubase and that will be my second channel. I'm going to record guitar on channel number three. First, I must define what guitar I shall use and I chose my Fender Telecaster. The guitar cable is set to pedal number one. In this moment, this is 30 something and it is connected to second one, that's Sovereign, and then to Strymon, Blue Sky, and the last one is TC Electronic Triple Flashback Delay. Here is input, and this is output, and it is connected to guitar input in TC Helicon Live 3. Now I'm going to guitar section here and I must choose what amplifier I shall use. For example, this is a clean Brit or California clean. It's too sharp. UK clean. It's not bad. This is acoustic. I think that this will be good. So that's it. I think that Blue Sky in normal mode is quite good and enough for this song, so I am turning it on. Now with my headphones, this one, I shall listen the first two channels and I'll make some guitar pattern. On mixer, Channels number three and four must be on, otherwise Cubase won't record it. And channel number 11, this one, must be off. If I don't turn it off, Cubase will record channel number three and channel number one and two also. So that should be a great mistake. So this button must be off and this one too. So 
something like this. After a few minutes of searching what to play on this drum and bass pattern, I've got this. January 25th, I wrote on my Facebook following status with my photographs taken six years ago. This is Lika, the area near Gospich. My mother was born here, so my roots come from that area. I made the photographs six years ago, walking after the rain. What the pictures unfortunately cannot convey is the intoxicating smell of grass and flowers. I had a lot of comments, a lot of nice comments and likes from my Facebook friends, so I decided to make a song. Now I am on the channel number four and here I shall record my voice. On this mixing console with this red button I can see that microphone input is working correctly. First I am going to read my lyrics from status in order to make a melody. On the main video monitor I shall click on play button of Cubase and on the next video monitor I'll make a final decision of how lyrics will be used. On the voice live 3 section vocal now I have to define what effect or a clean voice I shall choose. So experiment is on the way. Ovo je lika. Područje pokraj Gospića. Tu je rađena moja mama. Pa iz tog kraja potiču moji korijeni. Lika. Here there are so many effects. Some of them are very strange. Okay. Now I think that with harmony it's good. I chose the effect harmony with some reverb. Here on display of Voice Live 3 is possible to see that the lead vocal is completely used. Here on lead level it is 0 dB and the level of harmony vocal is reduced on minus 11 dB. After a few takes, I have recorded the first verse of the song. I have done it on the channel number 4. Similar process I have done on the channel number 5. Let us hear how it all sounds. Ovo je lika Područje pokraj Gospića 
The song Leka is almost done. What's the next step? A chorus. I made a chorus very quickly. The process is the same. You have to change the rhythm and make new bass pattern. I never think too much what I'm going to play when I make a new song. It simply comes by itself. Guitar part is the easiest for me. The singing is a little bit harder task. After a chorus, just few changes in lyrics for the next verse. In this case, it is final verse and the song has been done. Because the photographs of Lika were idea for this song, I made a video using the pictures of valley, mountain and flowers from that area. It took me a half an hour for video and that should be the end of this story. Here is the final product. Of course, you can work on this one day or even many years. I did it just because I love doing it. Ovoj je lika Područje pokraj Gospića Tu je rođena moja mama Iz tog kraja potiču moji korijeni Ovoj je lika I hope that this video inspired you. Until the next video, goodbye from my studio.